Hey everybody, I want to do a really quick video where I give out a hot take for the very first time on this YouTube channel. Um, on Entertainment Weekly, there was an interview with Zack Snyder where he said, Here's one piece of information nobody knows. The movie is insane and so epic and is probably rated R. That's one thing I think will happen. That it will be an R-rated version for sure. We haven't heard from the MPAA, but that's my gut. So, it seems as though that the Snyder Cut of Justice League is probably aimed at getting an R-rated film. And I don't know how I feel about the DC Universe getting so many R-rated movies because it seems like an actual marketing strategy just so people can go ahead and watch their films. I don't think that DC movies should go ahead and continue to pull off this R-rated movie strategy that they're constantly doing. I think that they should just go ahead and make regular good DC films. Now, there's nothing wrong with making rated R DC movies as long as it serves a purpose, but movies like Justice League, I don't really understand the purpose on doing that, though. And it seems like that it's becoming an ongoing situation with these DC films that are happening. I mean, with Batman v Superman The Ultimate Edition, that was a rated R film. Yeah, it's true, and I don't know why it was on that MPAA rating. And then we have Joker, and that's suitable for an R-rated film. But then we have Birds of Prey, and that doesn't really need much of an R-rated film if you take out all of the F-bombs that are in there. And now we have The Suicide Squad, and that's going to be a rated R film. There are rumors that maybe The Batman might be a rated R film. There are these constant moves on making DC movies becoming rated rated R and it feels like that they're limiting the amount of the amount of viewership that they will have in terms of gaining any access on watching DC movies in general and I feel like that's a shame because as a kid I loved watching DC movies I loved watching Batman the animated series Superman the animated series Justice League the animated series and they were all kid like entertainment stuff sure they had like dark elements here and there but that was mostly Batman stuff and they wanted if they wanted to push the element of creating R-rated material that's around the Batman universe that's fine but, but it seems like this move to go ahead and make constant R-rated material for DC films is kind of crushing their viewership in, in terms of like gaining access to having the whole family watch the movies. And doing R-rated material isn't necessarily anything different than Marvel has done. Marvel has done R-rated material before with Deadpool, Logan, and also Blade way back in like the 90s. So there's not really much of a creative process that makes it a competition for the Marvel Universe and, and it seems like a strategy just because it feels like that it would bring in more people to watch their films because, oh, maybe this is something that they haven't seen before, but we have seen this kind of stuff before. I don't really see see the, the necessity on why we should actually continue to make R-rated material for the DC film franchise. I surely hope that this isn't going to be an ongoing thing. I mean, R-rated material for a comic book movie on the DC film franchise, if it's necessary, like for Batman or Joker, I'm okay with that. But I don't want this to continue to be an ongoing thing further on as they continue to make movies. I mean, we've already have like a lot of scary stuff as it is when it comes to a PG-13 rating like in Shazam where they're going to like stripper clubs and we have gargoyles eating people. DC movies can be like godlike characters and put in very deep and complex stories without having the necessity of bringing in an R rating MPAA without bringing in our MPAA rating. So that's kind of my hot take on this. I mean, I am excited to see the Snyder Cut, but this whole R-rated thing that's going on for the DC franchise, I hope it doesn't continue on. But what do you guys think about it? Do you actually disagree with what I say, or do you agree with what I say? Put them down in the comment box below. And that is it I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video.